Now to Chief Meteorologist Alan Holt. Hey there, Alan. And Leslie, yeah, Fiona, big storm, but not going to be a threat to Texas as it parallels the east coast of the U.S. Gaston, a tropical storm kind of just doing its own thing out there in the North Atlantic. We've got three tropical waves to watch the lead tropical wave moving into the southeastern Caribbean. This is the one we're going to be keeping close watch on invest 98 L. Uh, it's a 90% chance to develop in the Caribbean Sea here, and it probably will develop over the coming days. Uh, evening spaghetti plot on this is going to show that same thing we've been talking about the west track through the Caribbean and then a bend to the north toward the Gulf of Mexico. The steering influencers are going to be the Bermuda High and the Atlantic, a gap between that and a high pressure feature west of Texas. That's why there's this opening in the Gulf. And then we've got this trough. It's going to want to draw this system to the north. There will also be this weak front uh, that's stalled in the Gulf of Mexico. I'm still seeing that east Gulf trend, but given the fact that this is not yet developed yet, and it's over a week away. The confidence still isn't that high. I'd still say that all of the Gulf needs to be staying very much up to date on the progression of this system forecast modeling. Given the length of time we have and the fact that it's not developed yet, it's still going to be relatively poor. But again, we're going to be keeping close watch on this at right now. I don't think it's an immediate threat for Texas, but things can change pretty easily, especially when you're talking about weeks out in the tropics. Next names up Hermine, Ian and Julia. If and when these tropical waves develop, Leslie, Mike.